Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to do agile planning and portfolio management with Azure Board in Azure DevOps. So let me just quickly log on to the Azure DevOps portal and take it from there. All right, so this is my project in which I am logged on in my Azure DevOps portal. In this video, we will learn about the agile planning and the portfolio management tools and processes provided by Azure boards and how they can help us quickly plan, manage and track work across the entire team. We will explore the product backlog, sprint backlog, task boards, which can be used to track the flow of work during the course of an iteration. We will also have a look at how the tools have been enhanced in this uh, Azure DevOps to scale for larger teams and organizations. So, First of all, uh, we'll have a look at the Agile Project Management. In here, we'll go to the Project Settings. Give me a minute. Let me do this. Perfect. I go to my Project Settings. Now I'm going to select my Teams tab. And here you see that there are already a few teams in this project, but we'll make a new one. So let me create a new team here. I can name this team as this pool web, and I'm going to click on Create. All right, so I have this new team now. So select the newly created team like this. So by default, the new team has only me as its member. We can use this view to manage membership. And I can add the members from here as well. And let, let me first schedule, uh, first of all, define the schedule and the scope of this team. Right, so you see this option iteration and area path. I'm going to select it. You come here. So, this team will use the same iteration schedule that's already in place for the other teams. All right. So team configuration is this, working days are this. So now if you will click on iterations here. Default iteration, current iteration, backlog iteration. This is the one that is showing. So if you want to select iterations, and I'm going to select sprint one, I'm going to do save and close. So it starts here and end at this state. Now if I'll add sprint two, and if I'll add sprint three like this. So now if you I'll go to the areas tab and you want to select select sub area. So if you go here, select areas and okay, cancel this. Go here and this is your area right so if you would click on here include sub areas here sub areas are included so the default setting for all teams is to exclude the sub area path we will change it to include sub areas so that the team gets visibility into all of the work items for all the teams optionally the management team could also choose not to include sub areas thereby removing work items from their view as soon as they are assigned to one other teams so how do you work with teams? Work items play a prominent role in Azure DevOps, whether describing work to be done, impediments to release, test definitions, or other key items. Work items are the workhorse or modern projects. In this task, we'll focus on using various work items to set up the plan to extend the parts unlimited site with a product training section. While it can be daunting to build out such a substantial part of the company's offering, Azure DevOps and the Scrum process make it very manageable. So if I go to overview and 
if you take me to dashboards overview let me do it again hmm it's not coming in here huh let me go here all right so if you see all dashboards and click on this dashboard so this is the dashboard so there may be there are many ways to create work items in azure devops and we'll explore a few of them sometimes it is as simple as firing one from the dashboard so you see add work to your dashboard dashboard and add code automate your builds and if you would click on here they'll take you to the boat right you see here new item you can select on new work item product training here this is the backlog item this is not the backlog item i'm going to work items and click on new work item so here select the epic type and let it come come on enter a title we can do product training it is unassigned it is the type of epic right let me assign it to myself here it is and let me assign it to the iteration for i spent 2 area iteration would be so i'm going to do it for sprint 2 save all right so this is how you create a work item in one of your any sprint that you want to do it and you want to fill in any information you can do it now if you would go on to boards you will see this is your board this is where in all your pbis and everything uh, whatever you have opened so if you would go for epics it'll show you all the items in progress or new so if you would go for product training that we have open this is this is the one that we have opened here right newly one it's a new item and if you want to move it like someone is working on it and you want to do it in in progress so you will see that this has been moved into in progress and when it will be complete it you can move it to into the done section and this is how you move the work items in the on the azure boards this is the benefit of using azure boards and it'll, it'll show you all the if you go to the backlogs here so this is a, these are all the backlogs product backlog item in which people are working on it so if you will click on any item how it is assigned to it is linked to any item or not if you want to link it to any uh, existing item if it is linked to any ticket any uh, any incident any request you can link it and if you want to upload any file any documentation that you have done you can upload it here by clicking on add attachment it will open up a dialog box to select the files from your computer and add it right you can assign it to the team member like you assigned it the epic item after this and you can manage sprints and capacity with this as well so 
Team builds the sprint backlog during the sprint planning meeting, typically held on the first day of the sprint. So each sprint corresponds to a time boxed interval, which supports your team's ability to work using the agile processes and tools. During the planning meeting, your product owner works with the team to identify those stories or backlog items to complete in the sprint. Planning meetings typically consist of two parts. In the first part, the team and product owner identify the backlog items that the team feels it can commit to completing in the sprint based on experience with the previous sprints. These items get added to the sprint backlog. In the second part, your team determines how it will develop and test each item. They then define and estimate the task required to complete each item. Finally, the team con commits to implementing some more all the items based on these estimates. Sprint backlog should contain all the information that the team needs. So if you would go on here and click on sprints and if you would see the sprint options here work items panel is work item so if you do here here or you can do planning here as well do work item work details right can add a Hold on, you can do it. Hmm, I don't have any backlogs, huh? Uh, this one. Right, this is this. If you will see the task board. This is the task board for this sprint. And I can change the sprint as well. And if And if you would click on this capacity, and if you will assign it to an activity, let's say define the capacity here for one, let's click on save. Team day of zero days, let's say you're going on a vacation. So always set your vacation to spend five work days during the current sprint within the few weeks, right? So make sure that in coming weeks, you can, may or may not uh, go on the week offs as well. So note that the capacity view has been updated to reflect the available bandwidth. This exact number may vary. It depends upon how you have done the planning so one convenient feature of the boards is that we can easily update key data in line it's a good practice to regularly update the remaining work estimate then you can also customize kanban boards as well in the azure boards if you would go on here boards and if you want to click on here to settings tab Here you can have the tag color, the annotation, the test, annotation like feature for this, enable, you want to do it or not. And this test tab enables you to configure how tests appear and behave on the cards. After doing all the changes, you can click and save. So this is all in a nutshell how what how and where all you can make changes on the Azure boards, PBIs, work items, how you can create teams, add members, change their permissions, and modify the Kanban board. So I hope this was helpful for you. And I see you guys in the next section. Thank you.